Hey guys, nice to be here. Um, certain somebody has been bugging me to make a double slit video. So, um, here it is. You can thank him. Um, so, let's see what it says. Student performs a double slit experiment using two slits based um, 1 times 10 to the negative 5 meters apart. Located 1.5 meters from the screen. Ooh, my cat just hit me. If the wavelength of a monochromatic light source is 6 times 10 to the negative 7, what is the distance to the first order maximum? So, um, this question, guys, could have this crossed out, double slit, student performs an experiment using uh, slits. I guess you can't really have it, but um, if you have a maximum, you know you're talking about double slit. Because for a single slit, you're looking at uh, minima. Okay, so keep that in mind. That maximum means double slit, uh, and a minima means single slit. Very important. Um, and that's just based on how the formula finds the location of where it happens. Okay. All right. So let's maybe draw a little diagram in this situation. So I got my double slit here. This is my distance d, and this is d here. Okay. And I've got my line coming from here and at this spot I've got a bright spot so maybe I'll color that red no, I'll make it yellow oh, that's terrible so I'll make it yellow so this is a bright spot and then I get another bright spot and then another bright spot and then another bright spot and then another bright spot okay so and then I'll make it even another bright spot um, so my so first order maxima says it's going to find the distance to that first bright spot. So that first bright spot is right here, okay, right here, okay. So that's uh, n equals one. All right. So we're looking for that distance. So uh, in order to find that distance, we're going to have to use a little uh, a little creativeness. So it says. Uh, let's see what else we got. So we got 1.5 meters from a screen. So that's my 1.5 down here. That total distance across here. Um, we got lambda is 6.0 times 10 to the negative 7. Leon, get out of the bag, please. The cat just jumped in a bag. Um, so I got 6 times 10 to the negative 7. 6 times 10 to the negative 7 meters. So uh, if you remember our formula, it's n lambda is equal to d sine theta. One second, guys. Mr. Kitty is having some questionable behavior right now, taking care of him. All right, we're back. Um, here's my formula. Uh, so we're looking for uh, the, the distance to the maximum. We're not going to find it yet. So I know my n is 1. My lambda is 6.0 times 10 to the negative 7. I think I might have this formula backwards. Just one second. Ooh, 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 ooh. Sure, that guys. I don't really know what I was thinking there. That is correct. Um, the reason I was thinking for one second that, um, you know, when you're solving this thing, you got to end up with sine theta is equal to a number if you're solving for theta, which is what we're doing. We're solving it for theta because we want to find this angle so we can use tan to find uh, this side here x. So I don't know really what I was thinking here. I I have to have if I'm solving for sine theta, I need a number less than one to solve, be able to solve for theta. So. Uh, we're going to get that. That's this. Uh, we're on the right track here. So negative five times sine of theta. I'm running out of room here. So now I'm going to divide both sides by uh, 1.0 times 10 to the negative five. So I'm going to end up with uh, theta is equal to. So I'm going to do the math now on my calculator here. Um, so I'm going to have six. Exponent negative seven divided by one exponent 
with negative 5. Enter, so that's going to be 0, uh, 0 0.06. So I go second function sign, second function answer, and we get an angle of 3.4 degrees. So not a very big angle there. 3.48. Is it 3.48? 3.44, sorry. 3.44 degrees. So now what I'm going to do, I'm going to solve for my x value here. So tan theta, so tan 3.44 is equal to x over 1.5. So now I'm just going to cross multiply here. So I'm going to have x times that. So I'm going to do, take out my calculator and keep my numbers in here. Let's go tan of my answer times 1.50 and enter and I'm going to end up with x is equal to 0 0.09 eaters. I'll give another sig fig on there. 90 meters or 1 I will leave it like that. 0 decimal zero nine meters or 9 centimeters if you really want to think of it like that. Okay, or 9 centimeters. Okay, so that's that's the distance to my first order maxima. If I had to do two uh, second order maxima, only difference here, n would be 2, and then you'd have a slightly bigger angle. All right, guys, I hope this helped. Good luck studying.